I know you're probably wondering how did I get here. Well, let me tell you. It all started with me trying to do a half up, half down, two ponytails. Tried to be a bad shorty, Instagram baddie. It didn't go as planned. The twist ain't come out as planned. But it's okay. You get up and try again. Wake up and do it all over. What's up, my beautiful people? If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. So today, I'm going to try to do a half up, half down on my 4C hair. I'm just doing a length check right here. You know, length. I washed my hair last night and I tied it up. But basically, I'm going to go through everything I use to wash my hair before we get to styling. Coconut Milk Shampoo by OGX. Mill Creek Biotonicals, I think. Biotin, uh, no, nah, conditioner. I was about to say shampoo. Good stuff. Then I use Cancel Leave-In Conditioner. And I also use Coconut Curling Cream to help style. I use water when needed when my hair dry. Comb to detangle. Then I twist it up after I put the product in. And this is really the result. You know, I mean, my parts ain't really hitting. But we gonna make it do what it do, baby. You know, edge control. Then I go to sleep after I do all that. When I wake up, I use Miel Organics Mint Almond Oil. I use a different container for the oil. Just a few drops. I put it on the part that I'm unraveling. I'm not good at this whole natural hair terms, but you get the point. And I just detangle, well, untwist each part, or at least I thought I untwisted each part. This right here, don't do this. Don't, don't pull, grab, twist, turn, backwards flips. I mean, I, I just overdid it at this point but I'm gonna get it together. So right here I use some more curling cream because for some reason I thought my hair was just gonna snap back into its original curls on dry hair. Not happening. I use more oil and just put it on all the twists instead of using it individually. Now I'm just going to try to unravel all the rest of the plaques, twists, whatever you like to call it. This side actually look good. It don't look bad at all. This is the back view so far. See, like this one is coming out right. I like this one. That's the look I want. Y'all thought it wasn't no hope for me. Look at it. Very hopeful. See, I like them curls. It's picking through my hair to make it bigger, but I don't think I should have did that at that moment. So that part, it was real straight. It wasn't curly. So I just applied some more water, some more leave-in conditioner, and a um, coconut curling cream, and I'm going to twist it back up. This is what I did to my whole head after I had washed it. Once you get that product in there real, real, real good, gonna go ahead and twist your hair two pieces and twist
now I need to do my part because I'm doing for the half up half down I'm gonna have two ponytails combing it out again I did a lot of combing out eco solid gel for them edges in that dry part honey lord you put some gel on your part so that boy can be slick brush it on in to the top and the deluxe gel apartment I don't know how my part got messed up but um it did I know so you just use a band to hold the little ponytail. Nah, bro. This ain't that. Some more go solid gel for the other side. Ain't what I was going for. Man down. Oh, she's still alive. Right here, I use Argon Oil Edge Control on top of the gel to make sure it stays down. I really don't know what I'm doing with my edges right here, but it don't look like it's a good idea. Oh, well, I mean, it ain't that bad. I mean, you kind of got the lace front edge look. Then, oh, swivel. No, not on this head, honey. Ain't no swiveling. I'm done. I'll get back to y'all after I finish my makeup. This is the complete look. I've done my makeup. I've put a little bit more oil in my head. I don't think it looked too bad, actually. Snapchat filter on them. <laughs> Hit the subscribe.